Okay, everyone, um, so video, and uh, so I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a technique I haven't done before, and that's combine some melt and pour um, with a cold process. So um, I think I'm going to call this um, uh, something like lavender bubble bath or lavender and hyacinth bubble bath. Um, I'm going to do a, process, a, a soap, and I'm going to do some colors with some micas. And then I have some melt and pour that I've done, um, sort of like, uh, you know, little, little bubbles. So I'm going to try and, you know, have some, have some glitter in them. Some blue, some very pale, um, like a periwinkle, and then purple. Um, so I have a bunch of those, and I'm going to put those on the top. Uh, and I'm just going to do a swirl, a, a, an in-the-pot swirl with some micas. I'm using micas from the conservatory. Uh, this is uh, pink lemonade. This is violet. And what is this one called? Wait, wait, wait. Um, this one is called Hyper Blue. It's sort of a, I don't know, it's not quite a pale blue, but... Um, and then I have some titanium dioxide I'm going to mix in. I have some fragrance. Uh, I have about a third each of lavender fragrance oil. Um, a fragrance oil from Brambleberry called Shave in a Haircut and a third of hyacinth. And uh, it, smells, it smells very good, actually. It smells kind of like a bubble bath. So, okay. Recipe is um, sort of my standard one. For a two pound, I'm gonna use my green um, small mold. So, uh, 10 ounces of olive oil pomace, uh, 10 ounces of coconut oil, eight ounces of castor oil, and four ounces of cocoa butter. My lye, I have 12.1 ounces of lye, I'm sorry, 12.15 ounces of water, and 4.5 ounces of lye. Okay, and I think, I think I'm ready to get started. Okay. So this is a floral fragrance, so it may accelerate, um, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, I just checked my temperatures, too. Um, they're right around 75, um, 75 and 80. 75 for the water, 80 for the oils. Okay. So because it's a floral, and I think it's going to accelerate, uh, I'm going to just, just get this emulsified, which I think I'm already there. Okay, that was pretty fast. Um, I hope that's not a sign that uh, this other stuff's going to really speed up. Okay, so I'm going to divide it up here kind of evenly. Oh, you know what? Let me. Let me add my fragrance first, I guess. Okay, so fragrance goes in. And just stir that around. I 
I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of lavender, of that smell. Um, it's okay, but it's, it's not sort of my favorite. But um, when I had my most recent order of, with Brambleberry, um, they include, they include like a little sample fragrance, and they included shave and a haircut. And I don't know that I would have ever gotten that on my own, but it smells really good. It's um, just sort of like a clean, fresh kind of smell. Um, and I thought if I combine it with, um, if I combine it with the florals, it would smell like a bubble bath. So that was sort of my inspiration along with my melt and pour um, bubble molds that I got. Well, it doesn't seem to be speeding up, so that's good. Everything's very loose still. And I'm gonna use all my colorant, I think. Okay, so this is pink lemonade. Now I have to say I didn't um, I didn't really measure this. I wanted a strong color, so it's it's a good oh it's probably a teaspoon of mica mixed in some of the oil that I took out from my batch. Um, Amy from uh, the great the soap works just did a video or has a video on colorants, that was really good that I watched today. So if you get a chance, go check that out. She talks about micas and ultramarines and um, all kinds of things. Uh, you might see my cats roaming around. They are waiting for their evening snack, and they're a little annoyed because I'm late. Okay, so this is violet. Some titanium dioxide. I have this pre-mixed in water. Okay, so let me give everything a stir. Let's see, let's go white, blue, Pink, purple. Try and hurry up here. Well, that pink is not really pink. It looks more like periwinkle, but that's okay. Actually, that might look good. Okay, things are thickening up here, so I'm gonna move right along. Uh, the purple looks really good. And I'm just going to do kind of an in-the-pot in swirl if I can. Okay. 
Okay, it, it thickened up a little bit, but it's, it's still workable. I'm just sort of increasing my height here as I pour so I can get some kind of good penetration into the layers. I mix the white a little bit, you know, I'll have a little bit more white um, than the other colors. I think white just helps to set off the other colors a lot better. So I have a little bit more volume in the white. Okay, it's definitely thickening up here. So those florals I've read and experienced <laughs> um, do tend to thicken up a lot faster. So, and it's funny because, you know, when I was starting here, it really didn't seem like it was thick at all. But it has quickly, quickly thickened. Okay, I'm going to finish up with the white. And then in my mold it goes. That's pretty. Okay. Um, I want, I do want this part a little thick because I want some height, so um, that's good actually. Okay, uh, let's see. So the top doesn't really need to be super pretty um, because I'm going to put these um, embeds in. In fact, this is, well, this is a little too full. Let me take some out here. Um, this is a two pound recipe and it gives me a little extra, so I shouldn't have poured it all in there. But like I said, the top doesn't really need to be pretty. I do want it kind of mounded in the middle here, but that was a little much.
Okay. So I'm going to just kind of get it a little bit higher in the center here. Now, I haven't really worked with Melton Pour. This is kind of the first time. Um, I made a little practice run just the other day, but uh, otherwise, otherwise, I haven't really done a lot with it. So. Okay. And I think I'm just kind of putting them in kind of randomly. I have two sizes. Um, I have this large one. And then I have some smaller ones. Mm, that got away from me. And then what I'm going to try to do, I think, is uh, maybe use some Um, use some of the melt and pour I'm going to heat up and uh, try to get some like froth with it to make it more like bubbles Kenny, stop. My cat wants to play with his, uh, he has a string that he likes to play with. And he is insisting right now that I play. He's sort of at my feet. Okay. All right. Um, I think we're going to leave that like that. I have some melt and pour, some white. Uh, I'm going to heat up real quick. And uh, so, I, again, I haven't really used this melting pour very much, but I think I might use either this mini frother, or I'm going to heat it a little more than you should. And... Uh, See if I can get some bubbles. Okay, let me see where we are. All right, it got a little bubbly, but it's uh, going down right away, so I'm going to see what the mini frother does here. I mean, that kind of worked. I want to 
sort of use it like foam, you know, for like a bubble bath. And I'm just sort of filling in some of the spaces and you know it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. All right, so that got kind of thick already. But uh it kind of came out I think I'm going to heat up just a little bit more, and then I'm going to use some glitter, I think. Okay, so it's still kind of foamy. Okay, I think that's good, and then I'm going to use some glitter here. This is white, just white glitter. Okay. All right. There we have it. Lavender hyacinth bubble bath. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And um, after the break should be the cut. Um, I'm hoping that um, when the slices come through, the, the bubbles look kind of cool. So, okay. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, everyone. Um, so this co soap cutting part here. So this was the... Um, this was the lavender and hyacinth bubble bath. So I have some melt and pour on top with some bubbles and I frothed up some white melt and pour to make it, you know, look like a bubble bath. 
And um, so I just pulled it out of the mold. It's still kind of wet, um, but um, I am impatient. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. So, all right, here we go. So I've never cut melt and pour before. This is a lot harder. Oh, I hope, I hope my bubbles all stay in place. Oh no, they're moving. Ah. I probably should wait to do this, I think. Oh, darn it. Well, I don't want to lose this bubble over here. This is really hard to cut through in the first place. It is just squishing my soap. Alright. Oh man. Total fail. Alright. Well. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's such a shame. I'm so upset. I should have wait, waited for it to harden up. Ugh. Well, I'm going to have to play with this. Um, although the, the color swirl is very pretty. Um, I should not have been impatient is what I should not, which I should have waited um, until it was all good to go. That one's not so bad. Um, and like I said, I think I'll, I'll clean these up a little bit and some of the, some of the bubbles that kind of pushed off I think what I'll do is maybe um, use some melt and pour and sort of glue them back in and see how that goes. Um, but again, the swirl is really pretty. Okay, oops. All right, so my lesson is let the damn thing rest for a little while. This soap was very soft when I pulled it out of the mold and I'm kind of using, you know, testing this as my, just my sort of base go-to recipe. And I just think it's too soft. Um, but they may harden up. We'll see. There's another very pretty swirl. I'm very happy with the swirls. But I am going to need to uh, doctor up some of the tops. And it's so soft still. That initial cut was going so well. I think I'll be able to save this though. I mean, it needs a little bit of attention, but I think I can uh, pull it off. They'll, 
and when they're a little bit drier and easier to handle. So, and the white foamy part kind of came apart anyway and kind of crumbled. And I, I think, I mean, that was kind of related to the cutting itself. So I, I will probably need to fix that. And so what I will do, I think, is kind of do the same thing I did when I, when I created the bar. And... Um, just sort of pour it on top again. I think that'll make it look fine. Um, it smells, it smells very good. Um, so this was a mixture of lavender, hyac hyacinth, yeah, lavender, hyacinth, and um, shave and a haircut from Brambleberry, which is a really good scent. Um, like I said, that I don't think I would have ever ordered but um, it smells very fresh and clean. Wow, look at that swirl. That's awesome. Okay, so these, these need a little love, um, but I, st I, I think they're gonna, I'm gonna let them dry out a little bit still before I work with them because they need to harden up a little bit. The swirls look really good. Um, the you know the stuff on top, uh, I think is salvageable, and I think um, it'll just take a little bit of sort of finagling around. So what I think I'll do is usually when I put these videos up at the very beginning of my video I have some still photos of the finished product so um, hopefully I will do that with this video so if you, you might have already seen them then at the very beginning um, hopefully you'll have some cleaned up bars that have tops that are more presentable than what I have here right now so okay. All right, that's it for me. Comments, questions. Um, uh, my one lesson I guess I learned here is melt and pour is much harder to cut um, than cold process soap. Um, and definitely let it uh, harden up, you know, till, so it's ready to cut so it wasn't so soft. So, All right, so comments, questions, leave them, love to get them. But, uh, uh, if you like it, subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Look for more soaps. Look for more soap videos in the future. Bye.